everyone. This is Anita White with Love Your Art, and we're back today with another video, and we're so happy you could join us. As you can see, we have a nice 16-inch round canvas, and on top we have a 16-ounce cup, and we're going to be using this cup and this canvas to do a flip cup on this round. I think I'm going to do a flip cup with the uh, ribbon is what I like to try to do. So let's talk about what we have by way of colors. We're going to be adding to this group the Liquitex Basics Unbleached Titanium, um, the Lime Green by Liquitex Basics, Primary Blue by Liquitex Basics. Oh, we got a lot of Liquitex Basics here. Let's see. Yeah, we've got the Dioxamine Purple, the Quinacridone Magenta, the Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue, and one artist off, which is the Metallic Cobalt Blue. We are going to begin by taking some of the paint that we have in our bottle and just taking that titanium white to the bottom. Unbleached titanium, rather. And add our colors on top. This is that luscious lime green. We have primary blue. And dioxamine purple. Go with some Cranacridon Magenta. Along with the Cobalt, Metallic Cobalt Blue. Such a beautiful color. And our Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. Start back without the unbleached titanium and just go with some lime green. Primary blue. Dioxamine purple. Quinacridone magenta. Metallic cobalt blue. We've got some yellow that looks like it needs to be put in here. Let's see if there's a lot of yellow in there. Okay. And again, this is going to be a flip cup. And I'm going to try and retain some of it to do a ribbon. So we tape the back of this 16 inch round and we're going to just take it and flip. Maybe more of a flip and drag with a ribbon. See? Some beautiful colors in that cup. Give them a couple of seconds to disperse onto the canvas. Here. 
hopefully we'll be able to retain parts of this that we really want. I'm going to use some of the oh, titanium. Let's come along the outside edge here as an extender. way we don't have to overstretch our design. We can help retain those colors we want by using the extender. Let's take some of this over. circular circular motion, motion to get all those colors mixed and moving and before we go over the edge okay let's start down with my lower right hoping to retain my yellow up there I'll come back to this middle checking out the side here this is super gorgeous I'm trying to keep that yellow as much as we can along with those other beautiful colors that are nearby streaking colors here. Now we do have some of that extender here that we can hold on to. All right. Now we need a little bit more. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. I want to work on this edge right here. So that means I need to kind of move this direction. Get it to come down and almost, almost all looks over. Some more here until that yellow is over. Cool. Look at that. It's a beauty. That is a simple, absolute beauty. All right, let's check our sides and look all around and sure we have paint that's managed to get completely around. see here so very pretty all right set that down give it a nice look around and remove our gloves because you don't want to get drips from your glove onto your canvas I'm checking out all the sides just to be certain we have color everywhere around And we do. I think we did that pretty good. So we have to take our little pan brand stick and we're going to take and go all the way around underneath 
giving this a nice white. All that color is still active and it's moving, so we want to make sure we get it white on every side. I love the way this streak came through with all the beautiful colors layered there, as well as this design here. And that metallic cobalt blue, you can see it shining through there. And she's really done a nice job. I like doing these 16 inch rounds because they're really quite beautiful and they're big enough to really put a lot of paint on and really get an outcome that is wonderful. I'll show you one in just a moment that I did um, and it's been resin. Check that out. Some good spots there. Again, tap that out. Okay, let me just show you one of my 16 inch rounds. This is a straight pour with a ribbon and it just came out beautifully with resin. And then I have it on a stand like this. That allows it to be displayed beautifully. So you can see how that looks on a stand. Maybe a little bit better. All right, you get the idea. So that's what I like to do with my 16 inch rounds. Get them nice and resin and placed on a um, stand that a display stand. Okay, it is time to give you a nice showtime view of what we have here. Hold on. Okay, it's showtime, guys. This is a close up of this gorgeous 16 inch round that we just did a flip cup um, ribbon on. And here you can see we have one studio light on, so there is some glare, but you hopefully can see the striations that this made. They really are very pretty. And there's some shimmer and shine in here. There's lots of cells. There's some lacing here as well. Look at those cells within cells. Really very pretty. Look how brilliant those colors are. That lime green, the yellow, and here's the yellow on this side along with that shimmery metallic cobalt blue. It's really making for a nice sparkle and shine throughout. And this gorgeous part of it right here is making for an awesome awesome round okay my friends we're happy to have you give your feedback thank you so much as always for your support we look forward to seeing you all on our next video upload don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell you want to be informed each and every time we have another video upload until next time keep loving your art and we'll see you all on the next video upload bye now